And how about this? Two corporate jets donated by Constellation Brands are expected to be taking off in about a half an hour. They're going to be bringing a ton of supplies to Haiti. Doctors and volunteers with a local outfit called Interval will also be on board. And Christine Van Timmeren is live at the airport as they are preparing for their trip. Christine? Yeah, that's right, Pat. We are here at the airport where they are actually going to be boarding sometime within the next half hour. And if you take a look over here, we have video of that plane. Actually, those two planes that they're going to be taking, they're finishing loading up right now, and they're going to be leaving very soon. Now, back on Tuesday, we brought you a story of this group of people packing up and preparing for today. Rochester General Hospital's program Interval collected things like wound care items and antibiotics to bring to Haiti. These are all unused medical supplies that have come from doctor's offices and other local hospitals. They're also bringing water and other medical equipment. Now, Dr. Ralph Panino from Interval told us they have a relationship with a town just west of Port-au-Prince that was closer to the epicenter of the quake. He said they're in desperate need of supplies and help because about 80% of the buildings in that town have been crushed. Will save some lives. It may be a drop compared to the, the, what is needed, but those drops add up to a pail of water, and, and this is going to be an ongoing effort. It's not only going to be the supplies now, but we're going to continue this for months to come with the people on the ground who are working with other aid or agencies. Now, we spoke with a representative from Constellation, that wine company, this morning, and she told us that her, along with six doctors from Rochester General Hospital, will be headed over to Haiti. Now, they're going to be taking off, like I said, within the next half hour. They'll be, it's about a three-and-a-half-hour flight, they said, to the Dominican Republic. From there, they'll be packing all of their supplies into helicopters and heading over to Haiti from there. So, guys, we will uh, catch up with you again at the top of the six and let you know more about whether they've left and any more information we can gather while we're here. Pat? Well, Christine, thanks so much for that update on that situation. Quite a, uh, an evolved situation. That's right, guys. I don't know if one of the planes already took off, but they left this area where we are right now. There's still one left. But I'm here right now with uh, Joey Leary, who's part of Interval and this program. And Joey, you were actually in Haiti when the earthquake happened. Tell me about that. Um, I was in Port-au-Prince when the earthquake struck. I was uh, previously at the Hotel Montana. We were driving through Champs de Mars, Chanmas, and the earthquake struck. So you know that it's 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 a rough place out there right now. Yeah, I would say that um, within a few hours after the earthquake, Port-au-Prince was um, kind of anarchic, and uh, right now military uh, from all different countries are arriving in Haiti. So I would say that it's probably a lot more stable than it was when I was there. So tell us a little bit about Interval's contribution here and what they're bringing uh, down to Haiti today. Well, Leogan, where I was living, was at the epicenter of the earthquake, and Interval has made a commitment, as well as uh, Rochester General Hospital and Constellation Brands, to um, sort of turn Leogan into uh, like a sister city to Rochester because it's they lost 80 to 90 percent of the buildings in my town. And um, we uh, have mobilized rapidly and gotten about um, two jets filled with supplies to go down in, in about a week. So um, it's going to be very meaningful for the people there. And, um, and, and Interval has been amazing. And, and so we're proud to, to represent Rochester in, in Leogan. Awesome. What an incredible mission. I wish you guys best of luck. I know you're not headed out there, but, but the people you work with are. So that's awesome. All right, Rebecca, coming up next and our next hit, we're going to talk to someone else about this interval and what they're doing over in Haiti today and get you some more details about that. All right, it's such a wonderful Rochester connection. Thanks, Christine, for reporting live for us. But well, we have some inspirational news this morning because two corporate jets donated by Constellation Brands are taking off this morning. They're on their way to bring a ton of supplies to Haiti. Doctors and volunteers from a local company called Interval are also on board. And our own Christine Van Timmeren is live at the airport to tell us what this is all about. Christine? Hey, Pat, you know, these planes have already taken off. They're not here anymore, so they are in the air headed to the Dominican Republic. It'll be a three-and-a-half-hour flight or so, then they'll go to Haiti. Now, with me right now, I am with Cheryl Gossin from Constellation, and you were just explaining to me what it was like when you guys heard about this disaster and, and what you decided to do. 
Yeah, when the earthquake hit and we heard about it, there's, we started conversations with what's the best way that we can help and get our resources involved in this. And Dr. Panino called and with the work he's doing with RGH and Interval, asked uh, our CEO Rob Sands if Constellation would be willing to donate charter services to bring the doctors, the nurses, the medical supplies down to Haiti. And um, without hesitation, Rob agreed. And we're pleased to be a part of this effort and support RGH and Interval with this great work. You know, what was your reaction when you guys heard that you could make a difference and actually make an impact? We announced this to our employees earlier this week that we would be supporting our GH and Interval and there's a lot of pride in the room, especially because with all that's going on, this is an immediate need. They need doctors, they need medical supplies today, so in three and a half hours we'll have these down in Haiti and it's a great sense of pride to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, what does it mean to you to know that you know something you're involved with is making a difference in people's lives? I mean, you, you mentioned there were there were tears in the room when they announced this. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of pride about this. Um, people feel very fortunate to work for a company that's able to assist in this aid, and um, it, it makes everyone feel good to be a part of this effort in the community. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Now, this, these planes will be coming back sometime tonight. I said sometime between 6 and 8 p.m. they'll be coming back. Just a couple people will be coming, and hopefully we can have crews out there and talk to them when they do return. Guys? Oh, what a great story, and kudos to Constellation Brands for sending those planes. Well, Rebecca, we were there when those two planes took off around 6 o'clock this morning, and I talked with a representative from Constellation Brands not too long ago, and she told me that they have arrived in Haiti. They're there with six doctors and several hundred boxes of medical supplies. Now, upon arriving in the Dominican Republic, they unloaded their gear and put it into small prop planes that, now, that are taking them to a village just west of Port-au-Prince. Now, doctors tell us they'll probably be working with broken bones and crushed limbs. The doctors that are going down are part of a local humanitarian group called Interval, based out of Rochester General Hospital. Now, the plan is for the group to stay in Haiti for seven to ten days, and then another group may come down to relieve them. Officials from Interval tell us that while they've been collecting medical supplies for some time, it was the generosity of Constellation Brands that made transportation of those goods possible. When you can take a company like Constellation, which is the largest wine company in the world, and you pick up the phone and call the CEO and he says, yep, whatever it is you need, and then rallies behind it, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now, those two planes are headed back tonight, and Dr. Ralph Panino, who's a part of Interval and kind of the brains behind this organization, will be back on one of those planes. We'll have crews out here tonight and hopefully talk to him about how their trip went. Rebecca? I hope everything's going smoothly. Now, Christine, we had heard that this isn't the first time that group of doctors has been to Haiti, so wondering what that group has been doing there before this. Yeah, many of these doctors from this group have been working with Notre Dame in their infectious disease program down in Haiti. So while they were here, um, they were helping the people with that. And so now they're going to be going back to the same village and helping the same people that they helped before. I'm sure those people in the village will be very happy to see them. Thanks so much for your report. Christine Van Timmeren reporting live from Scottsville Road. Well, the challenge to get aid to the people of Haiti is growing tonight. Two more aftershocks hit the island today, and there have been more than 50 since last week's massive earthquake. Now, with more than 1,000 planes still waiting to land in Haiti, U.S. forces say they've had to open a third alternate airport, but some relief workers are taking different routes to get there. Christine Van Timmeren tells us about one local group's mission to deliver aid to Haiti today. And they took off. One pilot, six doctors, and one representative from Constellation Brands bringing several hundred boxes of medical supplies and years of surgical expertise to the victims of the earthquake in Haiti. I feel great now. I mean, it's been very stressful the past week because we didn't know how we were going to get there literally until about 10 o'clock last night. They landed in the Dominican Republic this morning, then took small prop planes to a town just west of Port-au-Prince. I think what we're going to do is disaster relief surgery, so we're assuming that it's going to be mainly working with broken bones and crushed limbs. Fortunately for many in this group, this is a trip they've made before. Interval, a program based out of Rochester General Hospital, has been down in Haiti partnering with Notre Dame's infectious disease program for some time. It's a pretty desperate place to begin with and it's just going to be all that much worse. The town we're going to is where we've been before, so it's, it's a little going back to what we know, but obviously in a totally different setting. 
The group plans to stay there for about 7 to 10 days. After that, another group may come down to relieve them. Dr. Ralph Panino of Interval told us none of this would have been possible without the help of the Rochester community. People came out to help uh, sort the supplies and help us uh, pack it. We had everybody from the nurses and docs at Rochester General to students. I helped teach a class at RIT. They came out and helped us. But in the end, Dr. Panino says the key was Constellation and the donation of their planes. When you can take a company like Constellation, which is the largest wine company in the world, and you pick up the phone and call the CEO and he says, yep, whatever it is you need, and then rallies behind it, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm really proud to be able to go down there and, and feel very fortunate to the opportunity. Christine Van Timmeren, News 10, NBC. Dr. Panino told us that because about 80% of the buildings in the village are destroyed, they had to create a runway in the middle of the road to land on, and he added if it weren't for the continued partnership between the doctors and the village, they would not have been able to return to health. A group of local nurses and doctors, they're in Haiti tonight. They left Rochester this morning on two jets donated by winemaker Constellation Brands based in Victor. Also on board, tons of boxes filled with medical supplies. As soon as they arrived, they set up makeshift medical center. Some of the volunteers, they were actually supposed to return home tonight, but after seeing all the damage and all the devastation, they decided to stay overnight and help out where they could. Others in the group are expected to be in Haiti for about a week.